Hi all, so this is a little mini haul and then just to show you some of the decals I've got. <clears throat> so this is from the Nail Decal Queen and she does some fantastic, I mean fantastic nail decals. Um, and I like hers because as you can see it says using white ink which means you can use them over any colour. I've used them over dark colours, I've used them over glitters and they still show up. Some of the other decals are like on... I don't know, like clear ink or whatever you'd call it. So the background always shows through, but this doesn't. <clears throat> and I ordered two separate bundles. So I got the character Mystery 10 decal for £3. And the other ones I ordered for myself were all £3 each. <clears throat> and I love that she always adds a personal touch with a little thank you note. So I'll move that one up there. So this is the, the singles I ordered myself. <clears throat> and I'll show you them first. Please ignore my little Chip because he's not well this morning. So he's a little whiny pooch. <clears throat> so first I have a strawberry set. You've got Hello Kitty, Pom Pom Purin, Karomi and My Melody. Just look how cute they are. Perfect for spring or summer. And either strawberry nails with a little added extra or Sanrio nails. These are my melodies. And look at those little mice and chicks. They're absolutely adorable. She does different size decals. These ones, are, I can't remember what she calls them, but I call them minis. Because you could fit more than one on a nail. Shh. And these are the Hello Keys. Um, she does full cover decals as well. I will get a nail tip out to show you those. Right, one second. So with the with the full cover ones, which is what these are, um, these are actually quite large size tips. But these are a full cover decal. So as you can see. It cuts some bits out, but it's made that way. And she'd be found a toy. So, hey, shh. So, that it fills the nail. So, it's always made that some bits be cut off, but it means you can get, like, a full character. Like, look at that. Yes, the tip of her tail's cut off, but she fills the nail. And I love these decals. Just look at that. I don't know her name. I've never actually watched The Aristocrats. But she was definitely cute. Now this is the bundle I got. It's a mystery bundle. And I got the character one. Like I said she does other ones with like designer logos and stuff. And they're all different prices. But I chose the characters. So we have some Bambi and Thumpers. I cannot remember what the little skunk is called. But look at that one. That's just adorable. So we've got that one. And some Minnie and Mickey's. These are going to be absolutely stunning for Valentine's Day. And just because they're adorable. I've not watched this one, but I think I remember seeing it on the site. It was listed as Vampira Girl. I'm not sure. But she actually reminds me of a cat. Oh, look at that. They've got a little faces on. They remind me of a cat whom my daughter used to watch. I think it was Mona the Vampire. The face just looks similar. Oh, it's a little doggy. But yeah. You have some Disney princesses. These are a decent size as well. Because if you look at that, they they sit a good portion on the tip size. And you, shh, you've got all the Disney princesses there. Some Frozen some more these ones are all with flowers it's a nice selection and some really nice flowers you can just add as an accent to some of your nails and we have a barbie and again these oh, these are a full cover so you'll lose some of her hair but if i hold it at the top she will pretty much fill a nail with her face and then you've got some blades, the little Barbie car. You have bugs. 
I like the one with the little hat. As you can see, these scroll down in sizes as well. So you've got the larger ones, which would be your your full cover. And for a slightly smaller nail. And then one where you could do like as an accent. And this helps as well because it means you can fit them to a selection of nails and not just the bigger nails. We've got the villains. Now, I did actually almost put these in my shopping basket because I can think of a few I'd like to do. I like the Maleficent ones. I did apply for a course. I want to say it was a get nailed course. Um, and they do like mini art courses. I think they're £12 each, but on a Tuesday it's two for one. And I'm learning to draw them. But my artwork needs work. I am not good at hand drawing at all. We've got some more Minnie and Mickeys. I love the little red confetti that's around the bows. I think I'm going to do a nail set with these layer. And last but not least, just to add to the rest of my Sanrio ones, we have Mocha Romies. A little cheerleader outfit. Now I do have some Karomis in my box. But I always want more. And yes, it is a birch box, but it's an empty one. And it's generally what I keep my decals in. I ended up keeping a load of the boxes when I used to get a subscription. And now I just keep them to put my stuff in. <clears throat> right. So first up. These are ones I've ordered today. These are just ones I have in stock. I'll show you might have a look. The kind of stuff she has. So we have some gorgeous christmas bows and holly i think i got these in my last order actually just to get ready for christmas now these are a different barbie ones to the ones i've just shown you these are the smaller sized ones so not the full cover but they're still big enough on the top line you could do them as full cover i have the badass princesses and these obviously again are three different sizes Let's see if we can get you a close-up. So they're all tattoo-wearing and slightly different. Absolutely love Alice. And I already did one using Snow. That's who's missing. I did a polka dot set, I believe. But yeah, I love Ariel. I have some tinkle bells. I've got some full cover ones. The top of full cover, which will go down in size. And I got some smaller ones as well. So these ones are like full body. I like these ones for like a middle, like a middle finger. I used some of these already. This is strawberry shortcake. And again, I think, I don't think I use these over a, a white background either. They really are good there. I think our artwork is absolutely fantastic. Karumi again. I have an Elsa. She's the only one I've got left. I have some queer butterflies because my thought for that was, and I lost my little nail again one second. There we are. I like these because you could do an entire glitter nail and then angle that like that and you've got the entire wing outline. It saves time trying to draw it on and that'd be neater as well. We have some Lilo and Stitch like this. I have got some bells from Beauty and the Beast. I do believe these are also a full cover. I trapped that there. See, there's not really much left at the bottom there at all, and you could fill that in with some roses. I have two of those. I had a client that absolutely loved Sleeping Beauty, so I think I bought extra. I have some lips that say shh, the F up. And I love me some gonks. These are Easter gonks. Again, three different sizes. 
and I use these on a pastel set of nails. I've had quite a few off the end of those actually. Some Jack and Sally's. Perfect for Halloween. These I used for a set of gender reveals. So you've got pink tinted Dumbo and blue on that side for boy girl. We have snow. And Jasmine. And she has them all in categories as well. So you have like the full cover categories of Cinders. And then you've got the, I don't know what I call the minis. That's not the term that's used. And then she has each one in categories list, listed under that. So like she does summer, she has Halloween, she has Christmas. And she has things like spiritual, TV and movies. It's like she had the characters from Harry Potter and she did a bunch of Stranger Things ones with the characters on as well. Little gonks. But she does all sorts. She does different nail tech bundles. I really do love these little cherry blossom gonks. Um, but she does collaborations as well. I think she has some glitters and gems, but she does collaborations with other artists sometimes for some of the decals. This is the Monster High. As you can see, some of them are missing. I think I did a set with a smaller version of her. I mean, my daughter doesn't bother with Monster High now. She's too old, but I don't remember that one from when she did. Her favorite was always Frankie and Draculaura. I have Moss Nose. This was a full sheet of Beauty and the Beast, but these are the only ones I have left on that now. I have quite a few Adams Family. It's one of my favorite Halloween films and TV programs from when I was a kid. Every time it's on, it gets watched. And again, there's all different sizes. I have some from the new Wednesday. So it's Wednesday and some cobwebs. Again, different sizes. Some pumpkins. And if you can see that pumpkin's got another pumpkin in his long mouth. And see, this one was a collaboration. It says Queen of Decals collaboration with Kerry Wright, nail artist. Favourite Halloween film, absolutely ever, Hocus Pocus. These are a cabal collaboration as well with Sticky Diamond. She does quite a few. And look at Mary's face there, that's just hilarious. And Binks. More Hocus Pocus. You cannot have Halloween without Hocus Pocus. It's just wrong. And we've got the cauldrons. I've got some Day of the Dead. So there are different sizes and each design is slightly different. I have more Wednesday. Again, different sizes. You've got a few more characters on this one. And the windows. We've got Beetlejuice. I think I saw somewhere on Facebook they were doing a Beetlejuice too. I kind of want to watch it if they are, but I kind of don't want to ruin the original film in case it's crap. So I'm not quite sure whether I'll actually watch it. Or if it's even real, it could just be one of those clickbait things and we have a Krampus now I did get this last year but due to life in general nails took a back burner for a while so the Krampus set never actually got done but I do intend to use use them this year because I had a shit ton of ideas uh, this one for full cover is fairly big so I would either just use the center part or I did think about splitting him between two nails. I'm just not quite sure what I'll do with that one yet. I mean, there is the option of the smaller ones, which fill it. And we have some elves. I love this film for Christmas. I think he's a complete idiot, but it's one of them where he's so daft. It's just going to make you smile. 
and he fits just nicely. There was bigger ones, but I've obviously used them. Or he fits right in the center. An elf realistically would. Hmm. I think I'd probably spread him across nails. And you cannot have Christmas without the Grinch. A Grinchy miss. And as you can see, he is full cover as well. So you'd still get his face and his hat and his fingers in. And you'd just lift, blah, blah, you'd just miss some of his shoulders. Same for his sleeve. I suppose that also depends on how you put it on because you could slant it and move it around. And that is it for my decals. But I just thought I would give you a show so you could check out what she's got in. And honestly, she has tons in. And she does some fantastic decals and they're always worth a look. So yeah, my new little finds. Check her out and have a good look and you would not be disappointed ever with the quality of the work. And it is a really quick send out as well. I, don't, I think I've only been waiting, I don't even think it's been a week actually. But yeah, that is the end of this one. Thank you for taking a look around my decals with me. And thank you for watching to the end of the video if you did. Um, please like and subscribe. Or just like. And thank you very much. Bye.